What's up guys, Alder here with PragerU. Today we're in West Hollywood asking people if minors should be allowed to have sex change operations, and then we're heading to Compton to ask the same question. Let's go. Um, should minors be allowed to undergo sex change operations? They should if, if that's something that they want to do, you know? I think it's important. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we should. Should we be allowing sex change operations for children? Hey, no! Absolutely nope. not. Heck no. Oh, excuse me. Heck no. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. Heck no. Heck no. no. Heck no. Heck no. Minors feel like they have to be repressed and can't express themselves. That causes issues with confidence and like how they interact with others. And I feel like when you're at an age, when you feel like this is who I am, you have to be able to express that. Just their choice to like do what they want with them, themselves, their own body. You know, I'm a gay man, so I mean, I don't want to put myself again in their position, you know, but I, I want to listen to what they have to say, you know. Other people shouldn't be legislating around that. It all should be around whether someone wants to do it themselves or not. If they were born a certain way, then they need to stay with that. We shouldn't even do it for grown men. They're not old enough to make that decision yet. Bro, and it just don't even make no sense, bro. And save these kids, bro. Save these kids, bro. They shouldn't even be asked these questions. Like, that should not be their priority. It's sick. You know I mean? You're pushing some, some type of agenda on children that's not supposed to be there, you know? And they're young, they're innocent, so you're polluting the innocent mind. It shouldn't even be valid because their brain is still developing. They're still growing and they're still learning, especially emotionally. They haven't even fully developed yet, so they really don't even know what they want. How young is too young to transition? I mean, it depends on the person, I guess. I mean, I've heard stories of people transitioning like at 16, even identifying like even younger than that. I guess it's the, the person. I personally am not too sure about that. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like when someone is 100% sure about that, then that should be when they're like, yeah, I couldn't give an op absolute response to that. I'm, I want to say, you know, like, um, I, that one's a tough question. Um, I don't think there's a too young. You know, I was just in West Hollywood and I talked to a lot of people and they said if a child wants to do this and they want to make that decision, they should be able to. Nah, a child don't have no decision of what they're doing their whole life. You feel me? Okay, before you hit 18, 19, 20 or whatever, you feel me? You have other people making decisions for you. So me personally, my kids, hell no. They can't make their decision to drink. They can't make that decision to not to go to school. They can't make that decision to do anything else. How can they make a decision to change their sex? Their mind ain't even developed, you know what I mean? Me, you know, like I say, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. I think that's, I think that's like, I think that's crazy. I know it's crazy, you know what I mean? I get it, they just want to make their kids happy. They want to make their kids feel loved and feel welcome, but you have to, show them the correct way of thinking rationally instead of thinking impulsively before you allow them to do something that they might eventually regret later on. Parenting isn't about making a kid happy. I wanted to eat candy for every meal when I was a kid, but my parents said, no, that's not the right thing to do. If you don't want your kids to have cavities, why are you letting them change their gender? <laughs> if you don't want your kid to have cavities, why are you letting them change their gender? That's the quote of the day. <laughs> you think parents that are allowing that for their kids, you think that's, you think that's child abuse? Jail, child abuse, CPS, call them all. Call them all. Call them all. Well, you guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. We seem to have found a lot more common sense here in Compton than West Hollywood. I wonder why. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Subscribe for more. Follow me and PragerU on all of our social medias. And to stay up to date with everything that we're doing here, head on over to the App Store and download the PragerU app. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Hey. <laughs> Yo, that part. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. PragerU is a 501c3 organization. Help us keep our videos free by making a tax-deductible donation today. I appreciate your support.